today I'm going to show you how to get to the shiny columbarium keys area so that you can open up all the shiny uh, shiny keys. You get these keys by using magic or elder pyre logs to perform fun funeral rites in the columbarium. Uh, and they're also a reward from squeezing the plushies during the Lost Toys mini quest, but that's about 12. So there is an unshiny version of this, but the shiny version gives a better chance of more valuable rewards. The rewards from this aren't so special. I mean, there's a few things like god pages in there, which are alright, but my overall opinion on this is that it's pretty average and probably not really worth the time it takes to actually obtain these keys. And at the end of this, I'm going to open 500 keys. So to get there, you just need to use the fairy ring code CKS. Um, if you have max guild area, garden area available, you can tune one of the portals to the Xanarus fairy ring and do it that way. It's probably the quickest way to get there. Otherwise, just head to any other fairy ring that is nearby you. You can also run from Canopus or from Varrock but they're obviously longer ways. So just head up over to the mausoleum and go down the stairs there and open the gate. And there is a section in the wall on the right there. You climb down the stairway and then you are there. And basically that's the area that you can open up all the keys and that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, I might just quickly point out that you need to have completed the legacy of Seagay's quest in order to access this whole thing. So in total I made about 5.8 mil from 500 keys. In terms of GP per hour it's not so great because I spent oh, like a couple of hours just opening the keys and then there's the time spent to actually get the keys. So it's not even like three mil an hour or whatever. So it's probably better off to, to do bossing than to open these keys, but there you go. You can see the loot there. It uh, averages to about 11K per key or 11.7, I think it was. Just a lot of seeds and herbs and things. I didn't get lucky with any pages or anything like that. Um, so yeah, pretty standard. And <laughs> through this video, I realized that dwarf weed seeds and lantadime seeds are very, very cheap at the moment. As always, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.